What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. It's been a good week so far. I hope everybody's feeling good today. So much I wanna talk about, but I think today's topic, just keep it simple. Let's talk about reinventing yourself. That's what's in my head right now. talk about reinventing yourself the idea is to never get bored I don't know about you but me I get bored easily like I'm doing something it's cool but the minute I don't feel enthused by it no more it's like I don't put the same effort into it so I just kind of like slack the antidote for me is to always just do something else do something that I enjoy and have several things going at once so that if this gets a little boring, I can always jump to this and be excited again. And then when that gets boring, I can jump to something else or I can jump back to what I was doing before. I'm not saying that that's the way to do it, but if you're like me and you tend to do things for a while and then the next minute is like, all right, why am I doing this? then you feel where I'm coming from. So let's talk about it. <laughs> I just think it's important to always keep it fresh, keep it new. I know it's comforting to do the same thing over and over again, look the same way. Uh, as musicians, as artists, to play the same way and make the same songs. It's a guarantee, and I know it's simple, but our favorite artists, just think about it, our favorite artists and musicians are the ones who are able to keep up with the times, so stay current, and they're able to come back as themselves, but with some type of new aspect. And that's all I mean, I just mean, be yourself, be true to yourself, yes. But also, don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and do something different. For women, I know for me, it's all about hair. And as you can see, <laughs> I have none. Yeah, I cut it, so. It was basically like I had the twist, you remember? If you don't, please just look back at the videos before this one. I had the twist and they were in for way too long. So by the time I got ready to take them out, they weren't coming out. It was like either keep that and just have these dready lock things happening or cut it and start fresh. And so I decided to start fresh. It just helps, you know, like new hair, new me, period. And then let's talk about your sound. Um, I would like to feel like my sound has uh, evolutionized over the years. Is that a word, evolutionized? Is it evoluted? <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't be evolved. Evolved. <laughs> it's it's good to to change up, be consistent, but with a slight difference that keeps your listener interested. I think the main thing that adds to our evolution is experiences. The more you experience, the more you do things outside of the norm. The more you are not afraid to 
reinvent yourself. In fact, I feel it's gonna be inevitable because new experiences just bring on change anyway. That's why it's so important to do things that you haven't done before. Meet people that you don't normally meet. Always looking to do something different. I'm always looking to see how I can upgrade myself um, or how I can expand my horizon. I think it's just what we do as human beings if we're gonna be relevant. You have to change, you have to be willing. And also just being aware of what you're ingesting, what you're watching every day, what you're listening to. You just wanna make sure that these things are already always encouraging you to be something more than what you already are. I think another thing that's important with reinventing yourself is to be open. I know that we develop our beliefs and we have our morals, which we should always stick to, but it's also important to be open. I was having a really good conversation with a good friend of mine about God. And I've been on this spiritual journey to discover who God is, because I believe that in discovering who God is, I realize who I am. And that's the whole point, because of why? Purpose. The discussion with my friend went something like this. He was telling me his beliefs, and he was quoting scriptures from the Bible, which is excellent. We all know the Bible has some wonderful things in it. My only point was, I personally don't disregard what I find in other books. You can find information in the Torah, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Quran, uh, in the book that the, that the Buddhists use. I can't remember what it is. But that book is knowledge to be found in all of these. Because how can we truly discover who God is, this omnipotent God who's everywhere, if we only focus on God's character from one perspective? I wanna know how the Christians experience God, I wanna know how Jews experience God, I wanna know how Muslims experience God, I wanna know how Buddhists experience or don't experience God. Just that curiosity alone sparks reinvention because I'm open. I'm open to knowing more. And I'm wise enough to know that I know nothing at all. Never settling for, I know everything. I got it all figured out. No, you don't. No, I don't. No, we don't. There's so much that is out there, so much information, so many things that we have no idea about. But if you keep seeking those answers, I do trust that they'll come to you. play in a minor key. That's where all the feeling is. I love playing in minor. It's just the best. It has so much emotion and soul in it. Like. <laughs> how about that? The all minor chord progression. No matter how much we know, we can always know more. And we should seek to know more because that is the key to discovering who we are. The more we learn about life, about God, the more we learn about ourselves. So be open, believe in what you believe in, but also know that there's somebody else across the world that believes in what they believe in just as strongly as you. And who am I to tell that person that your experience isn't real because I believe that my experience is real? That's not fair. Let's be fair. That's all I got for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning in again. If you haven't, subscribe. The button's right there. You see, I'm talking about something. It's positivity. I ain't putting no filth into the internet. So, like, support that. I hope that y'all tune in again next week. I'll be back 
another segment about music and like peace.